This is a quick video to show you some of the differences between compact timecode generators. Here you can see a size difference as all units are next to each other. This is to give you some basic information about each unit's dimensions, weight and battery life. Looking more in depth at the Dineki GB1, it generates and jam syncs all common SMPT timecode frame rates. It's able to cross jam regardless of incoming frame rates. It has a BNC on top of the unit which has bi-directional capabilities of receiving or outputting timecode. You can also select the timecode output levels. And over a day there was about less than half a frame drift, which is really nothing. Next is the Timecode Systems Ultrasync 1. It's able to sync timecode, genlock and word clock. It can sync over long range bi-directional Blink RF. There's an app called Blink Hub where you can change some of the settings. And over 24 hours there's about one frame drift, but zero when the RF is locked to a master. The Betso TX2 Plus generates all common frame rates, is a highly accurate timecode transceiver, the BNC connector is bi-directional and has a drift of about 0.2 ppm, which is less than a frame. Ambient NanoLock timecode sync box supports all timecode frame rates. It's able to adjust the timecode output level for non-timecode equipment like DSLRs. It drifts less than one frame in autonomous mode, but has zero drift with an active C jam master. The Tentacle timecode sync E uses low Bluetooth energy for monitoring and setup via mobile device. It's able to generate all SMPTE timecode rates or jam sync to any external timecode source. It drifts less than a frame in 24 hours. Here's the price difference for each unit. Please keep in mind this is likely to change as time goes on and the video becomes more dated.